Okay, quick movie review should get me the views I need for 5,000. Webcam up. No. 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 No, 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 no. Bang away, you scabby land loving hooker! It's supposed to be a hook. Yeah, but it's a fork. Anyway, I put a password on here because I don't want you making any more of those stupid Blu-ray reviews that nobody watches. People watch those. Well, the point is, I want to see if you can guess what the password is. No, no, fine, fine. How about fuzzy motion? Yep. How about mud slinging diarrhea? Uh uh uh, you didn't say the magic word. Uh 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 uh. Uh uh uh, you didn't say the magic word. Please, God uh, 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 damn it! I hate this hacker crap. You didn't say the magic word. You didn't say the magic word. Uh 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 uh. Uh-uh-uh, you didn't say the magic word. Uh-uh-uh, uh-uh-uh. I could've got more. You flag! Hook was Spielberg's stab at a sequel to Peter Pan. When I was six years old, I loved this movie. And to tell you the truth, I probably hadn't seen it all the way through in about ten years. And I forgot how bad the opening ten minutes are. A bunch of really bad child actors do a crappy rendition of Peter Pan in a crappy grammar school. There's some stupid lawyer quick-draw jokes and a horribly played Little League game, which showcases Peter's son's inability to save the season. Just keep going. Luckily, the film picks up when Peter and his family get back to London. Remember, you're in England, land of good manners. Little toodles. It's snowing! It picks up because the annoying kids go missing. Well, not missing. Hook kidnaps them to Neverland. Which is where the film gets a little weird. Uh, not weird, just outdated. Things that used to feel fun and magical when I was six now feel stupid and idiotic, and I actually kind of wonder how smart I was as a kid. Shut it. First, the mermaids. Those mermaids are seriously like, like 14. This is like Roman Polanski's water world. Then the baseball. The Mets season came crashing to a close on Sunday. Just keep going. Baseball from the movie. He's stealing second! You know, if that's how Jose Reyes kept getting hurt all the time, I wouldn't have minded. But... My thyroid? Yeah. You know, the, okay, then there's the geography of Neverland, which basically puts mortal enemies right next door to each other. The Lost Boys are seriously in the trees right above Hook's fleet. Why doesn't someone just shoot a cannonball up there? Or, I don't know, climb? Yeah, seriously. But well, we know why the Lost Boys don't attack. Because they're anorexic malcontents. That's imaginary food. They don't eat. Well, except for that fat shit that's probably eating all the dead kids piling up tenfold. Yeah, and then we got this one kid who kind of looks like David Allen Greer, and he's just... What? <sighs> Nothing compares to this next guy, though. He's the undisputed worst thing about Neverland and this movie. Rufio! 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 He is just a world of useless, whether it's the Tokyo Drift haircut or the horrible bangerangs. You are a fart factory! Actually, I kind of like that one. You know, worst of all is, is if he actually got to grow up, he would turn into this. Yeah, that's him. All right, enough of the bad. Let's talk about the good. Dustin Hoffman, who plays Hook. Yeah, Dustin Hoffman's amazing in this role, and he's clearly having a great time playing it. it makes you wonder, 
what he thought about the rest of the movie. All right, stop it. We're talking about the good stuff now. Julia Roberts is... Julie Roberts is pretty. Bad. She's pretty bad. Moving on to Robin Williams, who's great as Pan. Although he does go a little too far sometimes. Here's my idea for a fucking sport. I knock a ball in a gopher hole. Oh, you mean like pool? Fuck off, pool! Not with a straight stick, with a little fucked up stick! He's able to rein himself in for the more important scenes, like when Peter turns back into Pan and realizes who he is. John Williams, take it away. I guess turning into Pan makes your arms hairless? I should go to Neverland. The film's conclusion is an epic battle between Peter and his Lost Boys and Hook and his Steelers. Pirates. Pirates. I want to point out that the Lost Boys are going against metal swords with wooden armor. I'd also like to point out the inconsistencies with the final battle and the tone with scenes like this. I'll show you who's chicken! Watch this! Then this. That guy just died! Speaking of death, here's the best part of the movie. Looky, looky, I got hooky. Yeah! Woo! How's that one number working out, bitch? And real bangerang stuff at the end. Looky, looky, I got hooky. Dickhead. The film ends with Peter returning home with his kids after defeating Hook. In a dumb way, though. Crocodile statue eats him. All right, look. I know this movie has problems, but it made me feel like a kid again. Seven out of ten. Did it deserve it? No. But I don't care. Five out of ten. This movie didn't do anything for me. That's because your soul is as black as sin. Bangarang! Welcome to Jurassic Park. Yeah, that's nice. Gotta go. Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park was the first non-Disney slash kids movie that I saw in a movie theater. It... you too? Oh, no. Um, mine was The Crying Game. Is that what the... I don't want to talk about it. Well... So much screaming. Okay. When I think of Jurassic Park now, I think of all the great lines there are in the movie. And not just lines you can say in, you know, random conversation, but lines you can just yell anywhere. Shoot you can yell that anywhere. Like at a children's park or a church. Exactly. For our main characters, we get Dr. Grant and Dr. Sadler. Dr. Grant's played by Sean Connery. Sam Neill. Not Sean Connery. I mean, they don't even... I know it's not a great American accent, but he's from New Zealand, not Scotland. Well, he sounds like Sean Connery. Baby smell. <laughs> I memorized the timing. I just hope it hasn't been changed. Dr. Sadler is played by Laura Dern. And I don't know why. Dr. Grant and Dr. Sadler are recruited by their boss, John Hammond, played by Richard Attenborough. Hammond wants the two archaeologists to give their endorsement of his new theme park. A fat and disgusting employee is played by a fat and disgusting Wayne Knight who's trying to rob Hammond of his refrigerator. Embryos. He has to go into the cold storage facility, not refrigerator, and steal the dinosaur embryos. It's what they need for the dinosaurs to forget it. it uh, where was I? Fat and disgusting. Wayne Knight's character is a cheap plot device, but Jurassic Park is so good that it doesn't really matter. Plus, Dodson, Dodson, we've got Dodson here. You can say it anywhere. One of the MVPs of Jurassic Park is John Williams. Take it over, Johnny. Now that our characters arrive at Jurassic Park. Okay, thanks, John, but let us do. After John's done showing off the size of his conductor rod, we can get another classic scene.
Unfortunately, we have to thank George Lucas for that scene, as it was his company, Industrial Light and Magic, that provided the groundbreaking CGI. Steve was smart to let George do what he does best. Rape children. No, 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 Lucas. We did the Polanski joke on Hook. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Rape childhoods. CGI. Ah, oh, CGI Jabba. Uh, prequels. Uh, cast into the Crystal Skull. Uh, uh, the, the Return of the Jedi Blu-ray. Ah! Rape is still too strong of a word. He may have disfigured our childhoods, which is- Are, are these characters, uh, auto- erotica? What the hell? Where'd that come from? Did you put that there? <laughs> That's what she said. And no, I didn't put that there. What do they got in there, King Kong? What's going on? I think the movie's great lines that you can say anywhere are turning on us. Is that even possible? Well, it might- That is one big pile of shit. All right, it looks like we're gonna have to deal with this for the rest of the review, so bear with us. Yeah, you know what? It's okay. These lines are great. In fact, I don't see anything wrong with this movie. Grandpa! Kids! Shit! Uh, it's okay, because we get this scene. What, do they have a goat button? How long does that poor guy have to be sitting down there waiting to be eaten by a rancor? T-Rex. Right, well, anyway, the great one-liners continue. What? What do you mean? It's all T-Rex roaring. Oh, no, you gotta put the subtitles on. What? I'm not joking, either. It's for every dinosaur. All right, in order to restore power to the park, our characters have- I'm fairly alarmed here. Must go faster. <laughs> wow, we've really lost control of this one. Anyway, they send that awesome hunter guy with Dr. Sadler once Samuel Jackson goes- Hold on to your butts. We can't. Because we are being hunted. <laughs> Clever girl. All this does is prove how awesome these scenes are in the movie, but the best one is still the kitchen scene. How did you find out about the subtitles? Oh, I was playing around with the language settings and I said it to Canadian by accident. Of course. Okay, the movie ends with the Velociraptors about to eat our heroes, and then they're saved by a T-Rex Machina. Timeless, 10 out of 10. John Williams, take us home. This one was fun. I hope Steve's next one is as fun as this.